Success of the CHANDRAYAAN-3 mission Vikram landed at the South Pole of the Moon. The Vikram lander of the Indian Space Research Organization's CHANDRAYAAN-3 mission has successfully landed on the Moon near its South Pole. So far, only Russia. The United States and China have managed to make a controlled landing on the lunar surface. We made a soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon, said Panika Samanath, president of ISRO, just after the successful landing maneuver of Sridhar. The Chandrayaan-3 mission led by the Indian Space Research Organization was launched in mid-July. On August 5, it entered the orbit of the Silver Globe. It consists of an orbiter, a lander and a rover. The lander's name is Vikram, which means, bravery, in Sanskrit, and the rover's name is Pragyan, which means, wisdom, in Sanskrit. The mission's name, Chandrayaan, means, lunar vehicle, in Sanskrit. The sky is no limit for India, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said after the successful landing. He also noted that a successful mission to the moon is not unique to India. He admitted that, this success belongs to all mankind and will also help lunar missions of other countries. India is implementing its ambitious program on a relatively low budget. The Chandrayaan-3 mission cost 6.1 billion rupees, about 75 million dollars. This is much less than the missions carried out in recent years by leading space agencies. Experts say India can keep costs down by copying and adapting existing space technology. And by having an abundance of highly skilled engineers who work for a fraction of what their Western counterparts do. The rocket used in the mission was much weaker than the one used by the Americans to fly to the moon as part of the Apollo program. The probe circled the Earth several times to gain speed on its way to the Silver Globe, and it still took longer to reach the Moon than the manned U.S. missions of the 1960s and 1970s, which reached our natural satellite in a matter of days. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is India's third attempt to reach the Moon. The first CHANDRAYAAN-1 mission launched in 2008, but it was not intended to land. Consisting of an orbiter and an impactor, it conducted the most detailed search yet for water ice on the moon. She also made topographic maps of the surface of the silver globe. It lasted over a year and was an important boost to India's space program. The Chandrayaan-2 mission, which was launched in July 2019, consisted of three parts, an orbiter, a lander and a rover. The Vikram lander was to land near the moon's south pole and launch the six-wheeled rover Pragyan from its belly to search for water and other minerals. Unfortunately, in the last phase of the flight, just before touching the surface of the Silver Globe, the CHANDRAYAAN-2 mission controllers lost contact with the Vikram lander. A few months later, astronomers found the remains of Indian equipment. However, the CHANDRAYAAN-2 mission was not a total failure. The orbiter was not damaged and is still observing the lunar surface. The Chandrayaan-3 mission has the same goals as its predecessor. All the equipment sent to conquer the moon weighs nearly 4 tons. 
The Vikram lander itself weighs about 1,500 kilograms and carries a 26 kilogram Krogian rover in its belly, which is estimated to have a lifespan of about two weeks. After landing, the six-wheeled rover is set to roam the surface of our natural satellite, collecting key data and images that will be sent back to Earth for analysis. The rover has five science instruments on board that will focus on studying the physical properties of the Moon's surface, near-surface atmosphere and tectonic activity to study what is happening below the surface. A spotless giraffe was born in a U.S. zoo. A giraffe was born at the Tennessee Zoo. The small female is solid brown in color and has no spots. Experts say that it is the only one of its kind in the world. Different species are endowed by nature with different patterns or colors that help them hide from predators or scare them away. Camouflage helps camouflage against rainforest trees or tall grasses. Sometimes, however, genetic mutations can create unusual variations of common animal colors. Like the baby giraffe at the Tennessee Zoo who was born without the giraffe spots. Scientists admit that in the case of this species, i.e. the reticulated giraffe, Giraffa reticulata. In very rare cases an individual is born without patches. In turn, according to Bright Zoo employees, it is currently the only single-colored reticulated giraffe in the world. The last such giraffe was supposedly born in 1972 in Tokyo and was named Toshiko. The young giraffe is doing exceptionally well under the care of its mother. She was born on July 31st and is now 182 centimeters tall. She has not yet been given a name. It is to be chosen in a poll that has started on the Bright Zoo website. Among the names to vote for are four Swahili words. Kipeki, which means, special, firiali, meaning, extraordinary, shakiri, which means, she is the most beautiful, and jamala, which means, one of the great beauties. The popularity of the spotless little giraffe has drawn attention to the state of the species, according to zoo staff. Over the past few decades, the population of these animals has shrunk by about 40%, mainly due to habitat loss and poaching. The characteristic spots on the fur of reticulated giraffes are not accidental. They are inherited from the mother. The patterns provide camouflage among savanna vegetation, suggesting that individuals born without them might have difficulty hiding from predators in the wild. Spots can also play a role in visual communication. The patch pattern is also believed to serve as a heat loss system. Dark spots help regulate body temperature. Beneath them are large sweat glands and blood vessels are arranged around them in a unique way. Each pattern is unique, 